Every single neighbor we spoke with off camera on Jendon Street knew about the shooting incident, but not a single person we found actually heard the shots ring out Friday night. There was a verbal confrontation between Mr. Lebrec and the four juveniles uh, of him expressing his displeasure with them breaking the glass on the ground. Police say the boys took off on foot down Gendron Street toward Old Coach Road. Lebrec allegedly got a gun and got into his car. And later discharged a firearm several times in close proximity to the juveniles. The kids reported to us that they were very frightened. Uh, at a, a couple points they ran and hid uh, from Mr. Lebrec until it was safe for them to return home. An adult brought the teens into the police station to file a report, and officials say descriptions from the boys led to 31-year-old Paul Lebrec as a prime suspect. At this point, we are still investigating the whereabouts of the firearm. We know he left the area with the firearm. Uh, we're hoping that through the course of our investigation, we will find it. Neighbors say detectives canvassed homes and searched the woods and Lebrec's home on Saturday, but came up empty. If it's determined that Mr. Lebrec is concealing that firearm from us or has hit it or destroyed it in some fashion, then there's also the potential for another charge for falsifying physical evidence. Bail was set at $25,000 cash or surety if convicted a Class B felony carries up to seven years in state prison. Live in Nashua tonight, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.